Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. Today, we'll be taking a look at this iPhone I recently got. This is the iPhone 13. My current iPhone, the one I'm using to record this, that's an iPhone 12, or well, 12 series, it was the 12 Pro Max. When the iPhone 14 was announced, this one, the price dropped a lot. I actually ordered the iPhone 12 because of the price drop, but they sent me a 13. I'll need to check my credit card statement to see if what they're, what they're charging me. Because there's there a promotion. The iPhone 12 is basically 99 cents. So just this one was just stickers and a SIM card ejector. The design is near identical to the 12. And I got the Starlight one. The Starlight is the white finish. It's not glossy, it's more like a, like a matte plastic type of texture. Like this part looks, this is a slightly opaque type of feel to it. And I did not want the 14, I almost ordered the 14, but ended up not getting it was because the 14 does not accept SIM cards, physical SIM cards. The 14 uses the eSIMs. So when I'm traveling to other countries, I'll need to first make sure that the carriers in the other countries support it, support the eSIMs. I mean, even with the US, with iPhone, was that 11 when it first came out? It was, it took months before my carrier supported it. Let me power it up. And I also did not get the iPhone SE. It has the newer chipset, was that the A15? This one, I think, actually, you know what? I was comparing with the 12. The 12 has the A14, but since they sent me the A13, I believe this does have the newer chipset. So I just gotta wait. It's been a while since I had to activate an iPhone. I thought I could just set all this up at the very end, but hmm, guess not. Face ID, I'll set it up later. Let's see. I can move data from over from Android. Uh, I think I'll keep my Android data for now. Can I set this up later? Yeah, I'll set it up later. Okay. I'll set Siri up later too. Screen time, analytics. Okay. So I waited many years to replace this other phone line. That one, the last phone I got was the iPhone 6S. Still works, just can't run most games quickly or have it load in a reasonable amount of time. But still works with like Pokemon Go and other, other popular kids games. Take a look at the camera. Set that up later, but what I want to check out was cinematic video. This was something that my iPhone 12 did not have. Let me see. If I can... 
So I think it was at iOS, iOS 16, it allowed the cinematic to be adjusted by just a tap. Okay. So this was just a quick unboxing of the iPhone 13. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.